Hi, I'm Nick Schimmick, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northeast Wisconsin. Uh, now as we're getting into harvest season, um, over these last few weeks in October, what we've been doing is taking a, a corn dry down study. Um, and the, the goal of this study was basically to be able to see how different hybrids between 91 day up to 100 day um, dry down, um, where we're hitting that for moistures, um, and then how is that, how's the season looking like for as we're drying down through the season. Uh, so what we did for this is we had a, up in near Shawano, Wisconsin, we had a, a corn product, product knowledge plot, PKP plot, between 91 to 100 day hybrids. Um, every week, starting on October 1st, what we did is we took uh, three ears, randomly selected from each, uh, from each hybrid, hand shelled them, run them through a mini GAC, and recorded moistures and test weight. Uh, we did this every week at, at the same time, um, up through four weeks and then until we got harvest to see how, how dry down progressed. A um, little bit of how this study turned out at the, at the end of the year, uh, we ended up with a little over 2,500 GDUs from planting. It was planted on May 5th. Uh, with that 2,500 GDUs, we were about 1,500 G or 15 GDUs above normal. So right around, right around the 20 year average, um, wasn't a severely high year. Um, however, still running around that, around that average. Um, when we got into that October time frame, though, we had two great weeks of dry down um, from October 1st to October 8th and 8th to the 15th. We had over three points to dry down each week. So um, we had great conditions. We had some warm temperatures coupled with wind um, at that time as we were hitting black layer. So we just really had some great conditions for dry down, losing over three points a week. As we got into that third week of October, um, we got cool conditions. Uh, it got some rain within that and it really slowed that dry down rate and we saw that to an average basically moisture loss of one percent in that third week as we got into harvest then um in this last week we took it off here this week uh what we saw at harvest is we lost we're down averaging around 20 percent moisture so really uh, of course 2019 was a struggle and it was a, it was a lot different than last year but uh with that range of hybrids coming down to 20 percent it was, it was perfect conditions to be able to get that off for harvest um, a couple hybrids that stood out or that was interesting to watch on, on the new side is 9211 AM. Uh, we, it's new 92 day that we had this year. Um, as we're seeing that dry down, if you're, we were looking at it, the hybrids around it, it did come in a little bit wetter at, get at initially. However, it really, it really started to lose dry down, it had some great dry down um, as we got, as we got into that second week of the season, started catching up to the 91 and 93 day around it. And then the long grin, we had 98.15 a.m., a new 98 date that we had this year. Yet again, that came out wetter or had higher moisture. It was holding on to moisture there as, as we took our first couple, first couple samples. Um, reason being is that it was a very healthy plant as we hit black layer. Um, so it, it just held on to moisture a little bit longer. However, it started coming down too as we got into that third week, um, closer to the other 98 um, day around it as well. One thing about this location I just wanted to mention is that it has, uh, we had some severe, or to say some heavy drought in that area. We had some more of a silty loam to sandy textured soil here. Um, with that, coupled with some uh, lack of rain through the end of July and August, we did see some drought. However, in, in this location, it held up to it very well. Um, and also tar spot was pretty severe in this location. It didn't set into late, so it didn't set into, set into probably R5 or later, um, but it did, it did uh, progress pretty rapidly, which might have might have aided it, I guess, in some of that early initial dry down for some hybrids that were more affected. So uh, I encourage you to, to look more at the, at the study if you're interested in these individual hybrids. Um, and with that, if you have any questions, please reach out to your nearest Pioneer sales professional. I encourage you to watch any more uh, agronomy videos on the Pioneer Agronomy YouTube channel. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.